What's up everybody? I'm Chitanshu from Dream Abroad. In the last week, we were all expecting one last express entry draw for this year, but unfortunately that draw wasn't conducted. And historically there hasn't been any draw conducted in the last week of December post Christmas. So most probably the draw which was conducted on November 23rd, 2022 would be the last draw of this year. Wow, this year has been very adventurous because of course after one and a half years we saw the express entry all program draws to be resumed and in just a few months time we have seen them getting paused again so in this video we're going to talk exactly about that i know there are thousands of people who are eagerly waiting for the express entry draws to be conducted there are many questions around it when would canada start conducting these draws again what could be the cutoff score when they resume the all program draws again? Would there be CEC specific draws? And obviously the big question about the big big changes coming to express entry in the form of category specific draws. So we'll try to explore all these questions in this video. If you're interested, stay tuned. As I told you, the last draw was conducted on November 23rd. So it has been more than a month now that they haven't conducted any express entry draw. Probably most of you would also know the reason why they actually paused these draws. It is because of the glitches that were introduced in the system, the technical glitches after they actually introduced the transition from NOC 2016 to NOC 2022. Some profiles became ineligible, some profiles who had higher scores actually got their scores reduced. And the last draw, of course, many people who were not supposed to get the invitations actually got the invitation. So it got a lot messier. So of course, the only way to resolve this problem for them was to take a pause and then resume the draws after all these glitches have been resolved. So as usual, IRCC haven't announced any date as such that when they would resume these express entry draws. But having seen that it has already been around five weeks time when they when the last draw was conducted, probably I'm definitely expecting that they would resume the draws in the month of January. It might or might not be in the first or second week of January, but definitely sometime in the month of January, we can expect the express entry draws, the all program draws to be resumed. Which brings me to my second question, which is about the cutoff scores. So of course, before the draws were resumed in the month of July, it was said that the cutoff scores would revolve around 500 and because the draws were conducted regularly and they were regularly increasing the number of invitations in the draws so that's why the cutoff score actually dropped down to 491 but unfortunately because of these glitches they had to pause the draws which means that the cutoff score is going to get higher probably the next time they conduct these draws it would be above 500 once again and then as and when they resume these draws continue them regularly then we would see a small decline in the draws of course at this point it is very difficult to predict the actual cutoff scores but it totally depends on the draw size the number of invitations that they actually issue in these draws and of course when they start resuming these draws the earlier the better so if they start resuming these draws let's say in the first week of january itself or the second week then probably we would see uh, the draws maybe in 510s 520s but if they take more time and they actually go towards the end of january or god knows in the month of february then of course we'll see the express entry cutoff scores actually to go even higher so nobody can actually tell you the exact date and the cutoff score when these draws would be conducted and what would be the cutoff score if you ask my personal opinion i think that they would resume it sometime in the month of january and yes the cutoff scores would remain in the early 500s okay now many people have also been asking me the questions about cec specific draws so would canada conduct the cec specific draws once again so guys probably if you actually start looking at these draws you'll see that the cutoff scores have been really high of course above 490 uh, 491 so in that case it is very difficult for a normal candidate who is an fsw candidate to actually get such a higher score so probably most of these draws were actually going to the cec candidates only uh, yes there were some pnps involved probably in a uh, you know in a 15 day time span there would be around 700 
to 1000 pnp invitations that would be issued uh, but apart from that probably i would say around uh, you know 2000 to 3000 candidates in each draw most probably would be cec candidates only so while there might not be any cec specific draws at this point of time but yes even when they start resuming these draws once again because the cutoff scores would be higher than 500 then of course it is very very difficult for a normal candidate for an fsw candidate who's not uh, got the canadian work experience or who hasn't actually studied in canada to get such a high score so apart from pnp the biggest number of candidates in an all program express entry draw which would be conducted in the upcoming months would most probably be the cec okay now lastly about the big changes coming to the express entry in the next year so of course we have talked in multiple videos about it about the changes being introduced because of the bill c19 so yes we can definitely expect that there would be big changes coming into express entry and there would be category specific draws i don't want to repeat all that once again but just to give you a summary of uh, you know what is coming in the future for us what is in store so most probably we'll be seeing the occupation specific draws in the spring of uh, you know 2023 so they've already announced that sometime in the spring which means most probably in the month of uh, march or april or going forward sometime over there we can definitely see some occupation specific draws so what does this actually mean for example we know that there's a acute shortage of healthcare professionals in canada so if they talk about a particular doctors or nurses or some other healthcare uh, occupations then they could actually conduct some draws which would be specific to those occupations so the draw size and the division of these occupation specific draws would totally depend on them so let's assume that in a particular draw if they're issuing 5000 invitations out of them 1000 might only be for the healthcare professionals and out of those 4000 there might be some other categories as well for example they might choose some francophones which means french speaking people so there might be several categories actually that might be there but we'll get to know more about those categories immigration minister is supposed to announce that in the parliament and then only we'll see those changes being implemented how this will impact the cutoff scores of course the cutoff scores are supposed to go higher after this because earlier you were actually expecting 5000 candidates so the cutoff scores would were down but now out of those 5000 let's say just for example 2000 uh, have gone to particular occupations or particular categories so in that case now only 3000 are left which means that the cutoff scores would go higher we know that this big change is coming but we don't know about the categories we don't know about the different occupations that would be given priorities so this might be beneficial for some but of course this might be a big loss for many candidates who had a low cutoff score but anyways to keep up the pace with all the updates the changes in the world of canadian immigration and all about settling in canada you can definitely follow my channel yes this was the last video of 2022 and we'll meet in the next year so i hope you really enjoy your time enjoy your vacations and happy new year in advance i'll see you in the next year thanks again